All right, so if you're watching this video on helpwp.com, you know that it's kind of like a video blog or whatever that goes over these tutorials that you can watch on this website. Well, what I want to do is be able to post a YouTube link to a video and have the video thumbnail show up up here. And then when you click on the post, you know, have the video show up up here. So it would be nice to be able to grab the video and automatically pulls the thumbnail so I don't have to make featured images every time that I want to post a video. So for example, like let's grab this uh, YouTube URL and in this post I can go in here and you know just post this URL and uh, WordPress has like O embeds now where it'll take that uh, URL and it'll automatically uh, create the code needed to display videos on your on your website. So that's all fan and dandy. But what the problem is, you know, I want this to be up here and, you know, I don't want to be able to play the video from here because it looks weird. You know, I want to click in here and the video be full size so people can actually see the code and, you know, see the actual tutorial. Maybe it's code or maybe instructions down here. So my thought is, is I still want to be able to just to post the URL like I did right here, but I want it to be able to automatically display the video and create this image for me. So what I've done is first of all I'm still using the meta boxes and I have a different tutorial on how to add meta boxes if uh, you want to go over that but I'm using CMB2 and I've created a meta box here you can see that it's all in all the post and I just have a field name for uh, video URL. Pretty simple there. So once we go into post, uh, individual post, you'll see I have this uh, URL box right here uh, for the video URL. So I'm going to grab this URL and put it in here. Save that. So now I need a way to use YouTube videos to grab the image and also automatically embed it into my WordPress template. So I did a, a couple Google searches and I was like how to get um, YouTube video images. So you can see here, their, uh, YouTube offers all these different uh, thumbnail sizes that you can do just by going to a URL. So if you go to the, you know, this URL, put the video ID, which would be this right here, this video ID, and then slash whatever image you want, it'll automatically display the image for you. So let's, for example, let's grab this and I'll show you. Copy that, put it in there, grab this ID here, copy that, and put it right here. So bam, there's a big thumbnail image that I can use right there. And I don't have to create every time that I want to post a video. I don't have to take a screenshot of it and then automatically upload it into my you know, dashboard, it would just take more time to do that. So what I want to do is post this URL, automatically create the thumbnail for me, and post the video in my content. So what I want to do is first of all grab this. I need a, a way to grab the ID out of this URL. So I, again, Googled around and found some different code, and you can add this to your function file. I have a little extra PHP that is included in my function so my function file doesn't get all bloated but I found this function right here that gets the ID from a YouTube video string so you can see here whatever um, URL you put in into this function it returns just the ID so that's exactly what I need so let's uh, use this function in our theme files so first thing we want to do is in our content cards so I have the the thumbnail just showing up right now I want to display the thumbnail of the YouTube video so what I need to do is use my meta box to get that URL string so I'm gonna write the code to grab this URL right here so it's gonna be just call it create a variable called URL and then I need to get the post meta. Wow. Get the ID. 
D. So you, if you want to follow along, you can type this code with me, or you can kind of skip ahead. You know, fast forward the video a little bit to get the ending code, or just look at the tutorial and uh, get all the code that I use here. But if you're trying to learn how to do something, it's you know it's best to follow along. So that string right there, or that piece of code, is going to get my meta box. Um, you know, this is the prefix URL, so my prefix is help WP and then URL. So it's going to get that. Oh, sorry. It's going to get whatever is stored in that meta box and set it to URL. All right. So now let's create another variable called YouTube ID. And then now we can use our new function that we created to grab the IDs. So it's going to be this YouTube ID. Paste that in there. And then what we want to pass it is this URL because we want it to grab that URL and you know strip it of just its ID. So now if we echo YouTube ID and save that, we should be able to see whatever the you know ID of that video is but well, first we need to close our PHP tags alright so now let's go in here to the home page and there it is you can see it just grabbed the out of this string right here it just grabbed the ID out perfect that's exactly what we need so now we can use this ID you know put it into this string right here and grab the the thumbnail that we need alright so now that we know how to do that, now I'm going to just create a little if statement, you know, so if the URL is present, I want to grab the ID. If not, I want to maybe display the post thumbnail. So if I don't have a, a YouTube video, maybe I'm doing a, you know, just a written tutorial. I may not always have a YouTube video. All right, so let's do a little if statement here. If the URL is not blank then we want to use it of course so what we want to do is we want to link it pretty much like what we did up here we want to link it to our our single post but instead of using the post thumbnail here we want to use our new and improved um, URL to our image here. All right, so IMG source, the source of this image. We need to grab this here, put that in there. Okay, instead of this ID here, we want to, of course, use our, our ID for each individual video. So it's pretty easy to do. We just put a PHP tag in here, close the PHP tag, and then we want to echo our YouTube ID. Echo, I'm going to escape it just to make sure you know it's good code. YouTube underscore ID. Bam. All right, so we got that. Now I'm going to add this same class up here just so it makes it look pretty in our card. Card IMG top. All right, that looks good. So we have an if. Let's go ahead and end the if right for now. All right, so that should, right now it's going to display the post uh, thumbnail and also this YouTube image. So let's See, there we have it. We have both of them. So pretty cool. Um, now in this if statement, I want to say if it has the URL, then to go ahead and display the YouTube thumbnail. Else, I want it to do... I want it to show just the thumbnail. Else, this. And then we need to end our if statement and if
All right, looks pretty good. So let's see what we got on the front end here. Awesome, so since we have an if statement that says, if something's stored in this um, metal box, then grab that ID out and put it in this YouTube string. Else, do the post thumbnail. So for instance, if we take out this YouTube string, update that, it should show this thumbnail here. So refresh, and there we have it. But if we have something in this string, or in this metal box, then we want to show that thumbnail. Perfect, so now you can see how why this is important. Just by one YouTube string, I can put it in there and automatically grab the thumbnail out of there without having to upload a featured image for each one of my you know, tutorial videos. So now what I want to do is do the same thing pretty much, but display this YouTube video in the post content, you know, maybe above the wording or something like that. So what we want to do now is, you know, it's on a single page. So the single is using whatever post format, which was in this case would be content. So, you know, same same thing that we just did, but instead of doing the, thumb, the post thumbnail, we're going to use some embed code so that the video is embedded into our single post so people can watch the video. So I'm going to do a div tag, call it entry video, and then we pretty much can get the same code as the other one that we just used. We want to do something like this. Copy this over there so we can get that, um, you know, post thumbnail or the the URL that's in that uh, meta box. I'm gonna close this for now, and then we need the pretty much the same if statement. So here we go. If the if there's something in the URL, now we need to instead of displaying the post thumbnail, we need to write the code to do, you know, like an iframe embed. So if you go to YouTube and you go to share and embed, they give you this iframe code here. But you can also uh, Bootstrap. Since I'm using Bootstrap 4, there's these responsive helpers, and they give you some code here that we can use to you know make responsive videos so no matter what screen type they're on desktop mobile tablet it'll be responsive as you know the, the screen is a different size so I'm gonna grab this code here and I'm gonna put it in here so now we got the iframe and then the same thing we did earlier with our ID we need to do here so we can go just grab that code real quick just grab this here, copy it, put it in there. That looks good. Now else, we don't want to make a, a link here. So we just want to do the post thumbnail. I can take this out, take this link out. If the video is not there, we want to display the post thumbnail. All right, let's see what that does for us. So save that. I'm going to go to the front end of our site. We're going to click into this. We have an error, the post thumbnail. So let's see what I did wrong here. Uh, right here else save that refresh and there we go so again from the from the home page we click on the video and then we go in here and you can see that the video we also have the post thumbnail still up here so we need to get rid of this save that and there we go perfect so click on the video, it goes to the actual post. And then as I resize my screen, you notice that the video is a responsive as well. Exactly what I want. So just to recap again, all I have is one meta box 
with uh, I can post in a YouTube URL here with that URL I'm able to not only get the thumbnail for that video but once you click into the single post it embeds a responsive video for me for my YouTube tutorial so this is kind of a long tutorial hope you get the gist the uh, code will be underneath the video that I used for this tutorial you can find it at helpwp.com